In this session, we will be focusing on the classification of financial statement analysis. In the previous session, we learned what is financial statement, what is meant by financial statement analysis. We also spoke about the objectives. In this session, we will be talking about the classification. What are the different types of financial statement analysis that can be carried out in an organization? Financial statement analysis can be broadly classified into four. The basis of these classifications are as follows, based on entity, based on entity which is involved, you can further classify financial statement analysis as cross-sectional analysis or time series analysis. Then you have on the basis of time, you can classify financial statement analysis as long term or short term. On based on mode of operation of modus operandi, you can classify it as horizontal or vertical. And then finally, based on your source of information, you can classify it as internal or external. Okay, so these are the classifications of financial statement analysis that we have. Okay, now, these are the four broad classifications that we have and these are the four broad classifications based on which we can go about with the classification of financial statement analysis. Now, like I said, these are the four bases for which we can go about with the classification of financial statement analysis. Now, let's talk about each of this in detail. The first classification of financial statement analysis is on the basis of entity. Uh, how many organizations are involved in your analysis? Okay, so based on the number of organizations uh, that are involved in your study or in your financial statement analysis. So for based on entity, you have cross-sectional analysis. Now, what is meant by cross-sectional analysis? Cross-sectional analysis is the analysis that is done between two or more organizations. You're comparing one organization with another. Okay, we are comparing one organization with another that is referred to as cross-sectional analysis. So sometimes when, especially in our school days, once we get our results, when we go back home and when we share our marks with our parents, our parents will often ask us, how much did such and such person in your class get? So what are they trying to do? They're trying to evaluate your your academic performance with someone else's. Basically, what kind of an analysis are they trying to do? The, the, the analysis that they're trying to do is a cross-sectional analysis. They're trying to compare your performance with someone else's performance. So uh, similarly, in an organization, in a business, when we carry out cross-sectional analysis, we are trying to compare one organization's performance with another. Okay, we are trying to compare one or org one organization's performance with another. Then you have time series analysis. In time series analysis, what happens is it is the analysis which is done for the same organization. What you're studying uh, is the same entity. You're studying the same entity, and uh, the same entity's performance you're studying at different intervals. So, so something like this. I'm, I'm studying your academic performance and I'm studying how your academic performance of fifth standard with sixth standard. Okay, so the entity that I'm studying is you, but your academic performance at two different intervals. That's an example of time series, uh, uh, time series analysis. But let's say your fifth class five academic performance, I'm comparing with another student in your class that will become cross-sectional analysis. So based on the number of entities involved, you have two, you have cross-sectional, then you have time series. Now time series analysis that you carry out, it helps you to understand the progress of the organization. You're comparing, okay, first year, the company's performance was like this. Second year, the company's performance was like this. Third year, your company's performance was like this. So is that, is that progressive or is there a decline? So when you analyze this, that is, uh, that is what is meant by time series analysis. So cross-sectional analysis is you're comparing one organization with another. Time series is when you're comparing one you're comparing the same organization for different time intervals. This is the classification based on entity. Moving on, the next classification is based on time. 
the duration for which you're carrying out time okay the, the time frame for which are you studying one day are you studying six months are you studying one year are you studying five years that is what is meant by based on time so based on time you have short term analysis and then you have long term analysis short term analysis is when you carry out your analysis for less than five year okay less than five year that is what is meant by short term analysis now one very important thing that you have to remember is when you carry out your short term analysis is that it may not be very conclusive okay short term analysis may not be very conclusive why because you are studying only for a short period of time so for example i want to understand your academic performance and i'm only looking at one semester's marks that's an example of short term analysis whereas the same the same uh, academic performance analysis i'm looking at all the six semesters i'm carrying out an analysis that would be an example of long term analysis now from an organization's perspective when you carry out the analysis beyond one beyond five years it is referred to as uh, long term analysis now long term analysis is preferred reason being it would be more accurate and then it would be conclusive in nature you would be able to draw better meanings you will be able to draw better conclusions that is what is meant by long term analysis so based on time you have two which is short term and then you have long term if the time frame is less than 5 years it is called as short term if the if the time frame is more than 5 years it is called as long term the next basis for uh, classification is mode of operation okay or the methodology that you're following for your analysis so based on the methodology of analysis you have horizontal analysis and then you have vertical analysis so in horizontal analysis what happens is you're studying the same item for different time frames different time intervals for example sales of uh, sales of let's say reliance fresh sales of reliance fresh i'm studying for 5 years or i'm studying for 10 years so the item that i'm studying is the same which is reliance fresh's sales but i'm studying that for different time frames okay so for a, an example would be fixed asset of a company for 10 years or let's talk about with a with a practical example i'm trying to study your math performance in school for 10 years So class one, how much we score in math? Class two, how much we score in math? So what kind of an analysis would that be? That would be horizontal analysis. Then you have vertical analysis. So in vertical analysis, what happens is you're studying two or more financial uh, items in the same statement. So the time frame is the same. but you're trying to establish and see is there a relationship between the items for or for the tens same type frame you are, you you have you're looking at the same item uh, you're looking at the same time interval and then you're trying to see is there a relationship between uh, the the marks or, or the the items or for the same time interval so i'll give you an example this first semester is there a relationship between quantitative techniques marks with fundamentals of accounting marks these are two subjects you may have to probably study it and trying to see is there a relationship between these two items okay or these two subjects marks so what kind of an analysis that i'm doing the analysis would be vertical analysis my time frame is the same which is first semester but i'm i'm trying to understand the relationship between two items we'll talk about another practical example current liability and current asset which is given in the balance sheet for the same time frame is there a relationship between these two current liability current asset given for the same balance sheet is there a relationship that is an example of vertical analysis so horizontal analysis same item different time intervals how very vertical analysis same time frame different items that's an example of vertical analysis then based on source from where are you getting your information based on source of information you can you have to for the classifications now based on the source of information for you to carry out your analysis you have internal analysis and then you have external analysis internal analysis would be the analysis which is done within the organization someone who's inside the organization itself is carrying out the analysis 
that's an example of uh, internal analysis now when someone within the organization carries out this analysis this will be ex- he will have access to he or she will have access to extensive details they will have access to ex- extensive information because of which this analysis would be conclusive okay this analysis would be detailed in nature then you have external analysis in external analysis what will happen is it is done by someone who's outside the organization now since this is done by someone who's outside the organization they will have access to limited information because they have access to limited information the analysis that they would be carrying out it is likely to be brief in nature let me give you a very practical example at the end of every semester in the department i would be carrying out an analysis of all the students in the department so when i carry out this analysis basically since i am within the department i have access to your midterm marks i have access to your assignment marks i have access to your attendance i have access to your project works the details so i have access to your teachers i will be able to get the verbal feedback so the analysis your academic performance analysis that i'm doing within the department that would be an example of internal analysis but as soon as the semester marks gets published when we go back home and when we share this with our parents mummy would always ask us first question how much did you get second question what was the highest mark in the class third question what was the least mark in the class and if probably mummy's best friend's daughter or son was studying with you immediately the fourth question would be how much did such and such persons as award get so basically mummy over there has access to only the information that you're providing okay so basically what she's trying to do is she's trying to gauge your academic performance with whatever limited information that you supply that would be an example that academic performance evaluation would be an example of an external analysis so to to put everything uh, in brief together for you i just want to quickly tell you uh, the, the classification of financial statement analysis it can be put together a, uh, like this um, the, 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 you have four uh, you have four four different classifications first sorry you have uh, this is the classification that we have and the classification would be on the basis of of uh, entity on basis of entity we have on, on basis of entity we have uh, you you have cross sectional time series based on time you have long term short term based on mode of operation of modes operandi you have horizontal and vertical based on source you have internal then you have external so these are the classifications of financial statement analysis that that we have learned in today's session